Happy Monday, boys and girls. You have two new letters this week. The first letter that I'm gonna to talk to you about is the letter Q. We're gonna to pretend to put a crown on our head like the queen and say, qua, qua, qua. Now there's something special about Q because Q always has another letter with it. It's the letter U. And as you can see on my poster, Q is the jelly and U is the peanut butter. Now you have a smaller version of this poem that Mrs. B made for you, just like this for you to keep at home. But I thought you could sing it along with me. Q and U, Q and U, always stick together like glue, like in quail, queen, and quick. If they're apart, they'll be sick. Q and U, Q and U, now you know just what to do. So when you are writing the letter Q, Mrs. B's gonna get her whiteboard so I can show you. I'm gonna make a line. If I was gonna make uppercase Q, I'd start at the top and I'm gonna make a big curve up and another big curve up and close it just like the letter O, but big Q has a kickstand that holds it up. Lowercase Q starts at the midline and it's a little curve, bumps the bottom back up to the top, straight line down, but now it's gonna curve backwards. It's opposite of the letter G. It's gonna go away from the other curve. This is the curve here, it's gonna go away. Now what's the other letter that goes with Q? You got it. I'm gonna write a letter U right next to it. Q and U. The second letter of the week is letter J. And there's the little girl jump roping and you're gonna make the motion, J, 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 do it with me, J, J, J. And when I make my J, I'm gonna make another line here. Both these letters are gutter letters this week, it's so exciting. I'm gonna start at the top for my uppercase J, I'm gonna make a big straight line down with a curve at the bottom and then a line across like a hat. When I make my lowercase J, I'm gonna start at the midline I'm gonna make a little dag, I mean a little straight line all the way down, but look, I'm gonna go past the, um, the bottom line down, make the curve, the curves go the same way, and a dot up here like the eye where it's not touching. J makes the j, j sound. Your first workshop, to, oh, Mrs. B almost forgot the high frequency words of the week. Your first high frequency word is the word here, H. E R E here. I come to school here at Loma Vista. It's going to name a place. The next high frequency word is the word me. Let's arm spell it's two letters M E me. I hope that you like me. Your first workshop is for the letter J, 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 J. You are going to identify the uppercase or the big J's with a blue circle or underline or X the box, however you want to identify it. And the lowercase letters with a red X circle, underline, bingo daub, however you want to do it. You're going to trace your uppercase J's and try writing them on your own. Trace the lowercase j's and try writing them on their, your own. Your second workshop for today is my little letter Q book. Make sure that you trace the Q's and write your name. Let's find out what it says. Q is for quilt. We're gonna make one of those today. Q is for question mark. Q is for quarter. And on the last page, you're going to practice tracing your uppercase Q's. And then where those dots are, practice writing your lowercase, practice writing your lowercase Q's, and then down here independently. There is one other paper. This is a little bear holding an American flag. And that is our last American symbol that we are going to be talking about this week. And so I thought it would be a fun paper to color. You could even cut it out but please know that it's optional. That means if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to do it, but if you do wanna do it, awesome. I would love to see them too, so you can always share this during our Zoom time when we're together. Have fun.